Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com and today I'm going to show you how to start building real life application in less than 3 minutes. But before we start, just please make sure that you have npm ease and if you don't have it, don't worry. You will find a tutorial on how to do it right here or down below in the description. So, let's get started. Open mdbootstrap.com and choose a React from the menu on the right side. Click on the download button which will get you to getting started page where you'll find different way to install our package. Click on the direct download. Don't forget to share us or give us a star on a GitHub. Extract the zip file to the location of your choice. Now copy a project path to your clipboard. Open a command prompt which you will find the start menu. Then type cd and paste the project path. Type npm install. npm will install all the dependencies. It may take a few seconds depending on your PC and internet connection speed. Once installation is over, type npm start to start our application. Compiler will compile all the files within the project and open a browser automatically. Voila! Our demo app is up and running. Now you can browse through the different components and check yourself how they look in the real-life application. Within each section, you will find a link to the detailed documentation. Now, let's have a look how to start a new project from scratch. First, let's remove a demo app from our application. Let's get back to the command prompt, hit Ctrl plus C to stop the application, and type npm run remove dash demo to remove our demo app. Wait for a compiler to finish a task, and type npm start again. Compiler will recompile the project and open a browser automatically. Now let's open our project in a text editor of your choice. We do recommend Visual Studio Code. Click File, Open Folder, locate your project and press Select Folder. Open app.js file and get back to our documentation. Pick one of the components, for example Carso, and copy a sample file. Now replace the content of the file with the code from a clipboard and save the file. Compiler will automatically detect the changes, recompile the project and refresh the page. That's it. That was simple, wasn't it?